Hey guys, Regaming here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on StatBot. This is by far the best statistics bot I've ever seen. I'm also going to probably do a tutorial soon on Invite Tracker. He, like, counts everyone's invites. He's really cool, but StatBot can kind of do the same, and I'm pretty much explain how to use StatBot. Now, real quick, this stuff is pretty simple. I'll go over this later, but all you have to do is just open up a new tab and just search up StatBot.net, like I have up there, and then search that up, and then... You can invite the bot, which I've already done, so it's probably not even going to work. But then you continue, blah, 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 authorize. Now, again, I'm on an alt account like always, but you get the point. It's pretty simple. Once you've done that, go to the website that you were just on, dashboard, and this is how you do it. So, I'm only going to go over the simple stuff. There's a lot more to stat bot. I might do a part two. I'm going to just do all these stat things right here and i'm gonna explain how to use them so this is the members count so if someone leaves it's gonna update the members count so see one guy left here and then it stayed 217 another person two people you get the point here but i lost a lot of members over here i don't really know why but i'm still doing pretty well i'm probably gonna do an invite event in my server the link will be in the description but this is pretty much the member count so if someone left, it's gonna update. If someone joined, it's gonna update. Pretty simple. Now messages, this is as simple as it can get. So this has been our best day within October 5th, and this has been our worst days over here. So our worst day was actually on October 11th because I only got 42 messages. But the way you look at how much messages you got per day is just go to this messages tab and just hover over whichever day you wanna look at. And oh, 919, that's good. And then a huge jump to 1919. I'm not, I don't feel like saying thousand, I don't know why. But then 1007 and so on and so on. So this is our normal ones, probably around a thousand. I think you can probably do math on that, but this is kind of a low day since it's beneath a thousand i kind of just made that up but it's pretty simple a thousand is usually our stat range for messages now another way to look at it is to see how much people have actually chatted and see who's the most active now a little idea i'm gonna be doing this but whoever has the highest messages within that week or month or whatever you might get a prize or a role or something or some extra permissions that might help for server activity if you really want that but it's pretty simple there's just a little wheel a spooky monkey got 640 this week and bori got 625 and dan of course the best of the best got that much 2437 that's pretty simple and again i'm not getting into like the hard stuff now this is how much a chat actually gets in messages so for example chat the normal chat gets 5,162 messages. I don't know if that's per month or per week. I don't really know. And bot commands are 559. Now these percents are kind of just how much on the wheel. So 9% of messages is from basketball and 74% and is from chat. Get confused with this. Now I'm not a voice channel person and I don't really care if people are in VCs. Now VCs are voice channels and I definitely, I don't care if you're in a VC and I don't really care about this, these statistics at all. But if you want activity in your VCs, definitely work on this, maybe do an event. Hey, if you're in this for 100 minutes, you get a prize or a last to leave VC challenge, which usually gets you prizes as well. You can search that all up. I might link something up there on a last to leave VC. I don't know, I'm probably not, but they're pretty simple. You can just search up last to leave voice call when a thousand dollars or whatever. Now this is what people have actually been in a VC and for how long they've been in a VC. So Dan, of course, 131 minutes and then NRG Ghost for three minutes that they were actually in a VC. Now I thought, oh, it does, it does. So YouTube VC is usually where we record our videos for 131 minutes. I thought it had that and then general for three minutes and that's energy ghost who was in that general now i think everyone i've talked to really i was i was talking to alex on status on stuff like this and presents and stuff really shut up and he was actually really confused on this i don't really know why it's pretty simple it's just loading give it a second all right so this pretty much means how much people are on do not disturb and how much people are online and how much people are on idle idle means afk do not disturb means you're not getting a ping at all and online means you can get pings you're just online so it has online plus do not disturb plus idle but i don't really know where that is to be honest with you but it's pretty simple so, you can use this to your advantage a lot. If you're pinging a lot, people might be more on Do Not Disturb and might be over 
normal. So here, I was probably painting a lot, like a little, like a retard, and it, it was on 19, or the mods were painting a lot. So this actually helps you to move people as well. But here we weren't really painting at all. I wasn't active, and there's only 10 do not disturb and 20 online. And here, 16. Maybe my mods were painting a little bit, but 16, 13 to 16 is usually the normal one, if you get what I mean, or 14 to 16. You can really make use of this. Now, idle just means AFK and how much people are just either not having fun in your server or just doing something else. I don't put my thing on idle. I just keep my thing on do not disturb usually because I get DMs, all that stuff, etc. Now, this is pretty much how much people are active on your server, this number count right here. So uh, around 39 people to 40 people are actually on the server and have all these statistics. Now, some people want to download their graph, which I wouldn't do, but if you want to, you can. You just have to click right here and download it as, I'd rather do PNG, I would do PNG if I were you, it just pretty much removes the background. Or, you can actually, if it doesn't remove the background, you can screenshot it and go to this website real quick. It's not a sponsor or anything. And it's just called remove.bg. I love this site. I'm just going to be honest with you. You need to upload whatever image and it just completely removes the background. If you have a watermark, I would definitely do, use this site. I'll link that in the description. But if you have like a watermark, just you can just remove that background. It'll be fine and you can use whatever you just used. Also, to get your server, if you didn't notice yet, you just have to click dashboard and then just click your server or whatever server you're actually using. And it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. If you want light mode, I'm not turning it on. Okay, I'm not turning light mode on. But if you want that, if you're like kind of weird, I guess you can do that. But yeah, that's the tutorial on StatBot. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, well, you can leave a dislike and comment why you didn't enjoy it. I don't know. But I think this is pretty simple. I might do another tutorial or just link another tutorial in the comments if you want some more, like, extreme stuff, like how you use it in chat. But I will explain how to use it in chat real quick if you don't want to go to a website or you're on mobile or something. So pretty much all you have to do is just S, question mark, S, and that's for your server stats and it pretty much does everything i just explained it says who the owner is when it's created I, I actually really like this i like looking at that but pretty much oh messages last day you 727 last seven days last week pretty much 3000 14 days 7000 so it's pretty helpful two hours and 14 minutes of voice chat for the last 14 days no one has been in a voice chat for over a minute in the last seven days or the last day and members and bots pretty much it's simple stuff i think you can you know look at that so that's the tutorial i hope you enjoyed if you didn't i mean again that's fine but that's it i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one